Hello, welcome to Navy Fox World Studio. Today, I'm going to introduce you the operation steps of different functional modes of this model. And we got this model is NF9172. Firstly, I will introduce you each single part about the display. Let's have a look at the 12 o'clock position. Here is the number 17. It means it's the date today. And here this window, you can see the SMTWTFS means here is the weekly display. And now this T is like light up means today is the first day and this lower big window 17 and 29 is the time now and this small window is flashing is the second window okay this watch we got five functional modes firstly I will show you the menu book Okay, here is the menu book for this model NF9172 and we can see here there are five function, functional modes. They are the normal mode, stopwatch mode, alarm mode, countdown mode and dual time mode. And firstly, I'm supposed to present you the key components involved during this adjustment process. The button on the top left side we call button A. Then in the counter crosswise order, we call it this button B, button C, and the button D. And this is the main crown. And let's have a look at different words represent different functional modes. And here now it's in the normal mode. We press the button B to switch to different modes. Let's have a look at the 12 of crop position here. This is the button B. Okay, now SP means the stopwatch mode. AL here means the alarm mode. TR means the countdown mode. T2 means the dual time mode. And here, come back to the original normal mode. And in any mode, press button A to make the LED light for 3 seconds. So cool the light, isn't it? This is our new technology for the LED light for this new model and in normal mode long press the button D to display the current month and date okay this is the button D long press okay here we can see the number of 12 and 17 the 12 means now is the December the 17 is means the date today is 17 12 the December 17. Okay. Now here come back to the normal mode. Here comes to the time and day setting. In normal mode, press button C. We can find the second area is flashing. And then press button B to switch to different area flashing. Now it's the minute area and here is the month and the date flashing and here is the weekly flashing the M is flashing can you see and press again okay, button B is the 24 or 12 hour system flashing and when the item fresh Press button D to increase the figure. 
Okay, now let me see a time of 11 o'clock and 10 minutes and August the 12th. Okay, let's press button B to to swift the our area. Now it's 8. We need to add it to the 11 o'clock. And then it's the 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and then it's the August. Use button B to switch to the month. Now it's 3. We need to add to the A. August, August is A. Okay, August and the 12. Switch to the here. Now it's 7. We need to add to the 12 okay now it's the August, August and 12 okay we finish the time and when finish the adjustment press button C to exit the setting mode button C here okay, now we come back to the normal mode here comes to the stopwatch mode and in the normal mode, we need to press button B to switch to the stopwatch mode. And now we can see the SP here means we are in the stopwatch mode. And we got three kinds of time recordings of stopwatch mode for this model. The first one is accumulate time recording. The second one is sleep time recording. The third one is finish time recording. Now let me show you how to operate it. Okay, the first one is the accumulate time recording. We need to press button C, button D to start. Okay, now we can see here this second area is flashing. And when you want to stop, press button C again. Okay, the recording is stopped. And if, if you want to restart, press button D again. And finish. Use the button D. And now it's the you finish the recording. And then press the button D to reset all the origin, original data. Okay, now it's come back to the original one. Okay, the second kind of recording is sleep time recording. Let me show you. First, we use the button D to start. And use button C to sleep time keeping. And when the time finished, use the button C to sleep time keeping the termination and then press button D to stop okay this is the sleep time recording when you finish the sleep time recording and press button C to reset okay now we can see we are coming back to the original Okay, the third one, finish time recording. First, press button D to start. And press button C. The sleep time recording and means the first player finished finishing the race and show the finish time of the first race fini finish. And then Press button D to stop. The second player now is finishing the race. And press button C to terminate sleep time recording. Show the finish time of the second race finisher. 
you can see the second player use 24 seconds and then use the button C to reset all the data okay we come back to the original and pay attention the measure up to its 23 hour and 59 minutes and 59.99 seconds and if the stopwatch is not timely stopped it will continuously keep the time and will start measuring from zero when reaching to the upper limit of measurement and even though the interface of the stopwatch mode is exit the stopwatch will continue to measure exiting stopwatch mode when then the screen showing the sleep time recording is frozen will lead to the elimination of the record sleep time here comes to the alarm function mode this watch can set two alarm clocks first of all we press button b when we find the al here which is the alarm function now let me set the alarm clock at at um, 22 o'clock and 15 in the alarm mode press button d and then we can see there is a small icon here you can see the small icon here the bell ring the bell ring at 7 o'clock position between the 8 o'clock position will appear and to ensure the alarm function is on then we press button C now the hour area is flashing and use button D to increase the figure we need is the 22 o'clock Okay, now it's 22 o'clock and then press button B again so the mini area is fresh and add the figure to the 15 Okay, after finish the setting press button C to confirm and exit okay the first one a color is finished then it's the second one a clock in the alarm mode press button C then swift the button B twice and then we can see this small window it's flashing and the E1 flashing at micro position then we press button D to add the figure to E2 you can see here E2 means now we are in the number 2 the second alarm o'clock setting and then press button C to confirm this state then we can repeat the operation methods of the first alarm to set the second alarm and also we have SIG function and in alarm mode press the button D continuously until the SIG is on at 10 o'clock position here is SIG you can know Mm, press the button D
now we can see the SIG it's light up and the alarms will ring automatically to end continuously for 15 seconds at next hour you can press any button to stop the alarm and pay attention only the alarm icon only the alarm icon and the SIG I, uh, it's light up the alarm function and SIG function can be start if the alarm icon and SIG are not on the alarm and SIG function will not on here comes to the countdown function mode first of all in normal mode we press the button B and then we can find the TR now which is the countdown function the display range of countdown is up to 23 hours 59 minutes and 59 seconds in the countdown mode press button C we can find the hour area is flashing and press button B to select the minute and second in turn okay now we have 10 minutes countdown and use the now is the second second area flashing we use the button D to add the figure to 10 okay, now it's 10 seconds and while I finish the setting press button C and confirm and exit And pay attention, in countdown mode, press button D to start or stop the countdown. As, as just now I have set a 10 minutes countdown. Okay, press button D. Okay, now the here is flashing. Okay, 10, 10 seconds is over. When the countdown mode is stopped, there will be 10 seconds speed and when the beat stops, the time displays will return to the original set one. When the countdown is in operation, press button D to push the process and press button D again to restart it. If the countdown is going to be fully stopped, press button D first to push the preset and then press button C to make the time display return to the original set one. If the countdown preset is not stopped, even if the interface of the countdown is exit, the preset will still continue. Here comes to the dual time function. The dual time function is used to set and display the time of another different area. When setting the dual time function, only the hour can be set. The minute and second cannot be set. And will be synchronized with the minute and seconds in the normal mode. Now let me show you how to set the dual time function. First of all, in normal mode, we use the button B to switch the time, switch to the T2 now which is the dual time function and we press the button C you can see the hour area is flashing and then press button D to add the figure okay when finish the setting Press button C to exit. 
and completely the setting. Okay, all functions for this model setting are here. Hope this video can help you to set the functions. Thank you for watching our videos. See you next time. Bye.